are the eight contestants who will take part in tonight's show. One of them will walk away with up to one million dollars. The rest will leave with nothing. As round by round they're voted off as the weakest link. Welcome to the Weakest Link Credentials Edition. Hey, Bobby Crawford here back with you. Hope you uh, had a good break. And uh, let's get to it. I have here... I believe I have here... Uh, 11 counties. Yes. 11 counties which did not show any delegates to this year's North Carolina Republican Party Convention. And they are as follows. Ash, Tyrell, Camden, Currituck, Green, Hertford, Hyde, Martin, Pamlico, Pasquotank, and Perquimans. Now, one of these counties banked zero money for the North Carolina Republican Party last year. And they are the weakest link. So, who has more kegs of beer at their GOP meetings than people? It's time to reveal the weakest link. And the weakest link here is... Starts with a T. It's Tyrell County. Tyrell County, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <clears throat> And now I have the good news. These are the top 10 delegations in the state of North Carolina. Surrey County, 14 delegates. Moore and Moore County and Union County had 16 delegates. Transylvania County had 18 delegates. Brunswick County and Guilford County had 20 delegates apiece. Macon County had 21 delegates. Jackson County had 22 delegates. Mecklenburg County had 30 delegates. And the big winner for probably the last 10 to 20 years or so, uh, they win every year, folks. Lake County with 30 delegates. So that is our uh, little credentials report there. Um, oh yes, an honorable mention goes out to Anson County. Anson County, while they only had two delegates, they are a very small county, but they got 100% of their delegate allotment for the sixth year in a row. So in other words, the state party gives them two delegate spots at the convention, and they filled it, and they filled it uh, for the sixth year in a row, and they even had three alternates, too. Um, now, my county, New Hanover County, had a pathetic five delegates. Why do I say pathetic? Well, yes, it's like a six, seven hour trip across the state. I get it. But Pender County had double the delegates with ten, and even more impressive was Brunswick County. They had quadruple what New Hanover County had, and that is with 20 delegates. Uh, and the grand total is was 689 delegates and two alternates. Now, um, I'll talk a little bit more about the the the, the credentials. Um, this year, I thought they were very poorly done. Um, because in past years, in the, your program that you would get, they would always have all the counties in the state listed, and then they would have a little spot right next to them where you can write down how many delegates to the convention um, for credentials. Or, if we had a chairman, vice chairman race, you could write down how many votes for the particular candidate. But this year, they did not, uh, the state party decided not to do that. Also, um, day one of the convention for the credentials, they had Jason Lemons speak, who I think does a really good job because he always tries to interject some jokes into the credentials because reading a hundred names, 
uh, to a crowd. It, it can get a little boring sometimes, but he does a good job of putting a joke in there. Like, he'll say, uh, Orange County. Orange County is a very liberal county. He'll say, the only Republicans in Orange County are here today, and they have 11 delegates, something along that line. Um, but I felt this year, though, he, he tended to read them a little bit faster than what he usually does. So I'm like, you know, typing, typing, typing. I'm, you know, grrr, I'm trying to get them down really fast. And, um, but uh, Saturday they had a lady speak. And um, I will say that she went way too fast when she was reading the credentials. And so I'll just put that out there. But, the biggest loser of this entire weekend, the lowest point of the entire weekend, was Dr. Greg Brannon not attending the convention at all. Let me explain. On Saturday in the afternoon, it was about 2.30, 3 o'clock, they had the ceremony um, to nominate Tom Tills as the Republican nominee for U.S. Senate. And they had speaking, uh, supporting him was, uh, I believe it was four candidates. The candidates were Heather Grant, uh, Ted Alexander, Mark Harris, and Jim Schneider. Okay. They, uh, Mark Harris finished third, Heather Grant finished fourth, and the other two guys were like fifth or sixth. But Greg Brandon finished second, and he did not come to the convention and speak to support Tom Tillis. Oh, you know, and at the very least, look, I understand he's he's a very busy schedule as a doctor. He's an OBGYN, on call constantly. But the least he could have done was submit like a a two three a two to three minute video. Just saying, you know, uh, to support Tom Tillis for U.S. Senate. Um, you know, and I I thought personally Tom Tillis, he did a pretty pretty good job with his speech. I'll admit, um, I didn't really like, uh, I don't really care much for Gov Governor McCrory. Vote, voted for him in 2012 because Walter Dalton... I feel was the dumbest man to ever run for governor, but I just I just don't care for uh, Governor McCory, and we can talk about that on on another uh, broadcast of my radio show. Um, but towards the end of his speech, he talked about himself and how he was 19 years old back in 1979, was living in a trailer, working all the time at a factory, and he was talking about being inspired by Ronald Reagan, which I thought was really really cool. And he also talked about, hey, you know, it, it took me until I was 37 years old to get my college degree. But he worked hard and he never gave up. And he talked about, you know, we should never give up on America. So I thought it was, it, as a whole, the speech was very good. Um, I would have to give it about a B to B minus. And my, 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 my opinion of Dr. Bro Greg Brandon has um, unfortunately changed a lot because... He needs um, he needs to know that you know yes I mean Tom Tillis he did some things that were not very conservative like the green energy mandates his views on immigration but he is nowhere near as bad as Mitch McConnell is in Kentucky okay Mitch McConnell he's been in the Senate for 30 years okay and he's not not a conservative okay Tom Tillis has done some things that are conservative okay he got there got elected in 2010 he cut the sales tax from 8% to 7% he got the ball rolling on the voter ID legislation he has done some good conservative things for North Carolina and I think Greg Brandon really shot himself in the foot and in my opinion he his chances of ever winning a statewide office in North Carolina are pretty much now slim to none. And I, for twenty for the twenty sixteen Senate race, I would I, I would have to go ahead and endorse uh, Mark Harris for the Senate seat, uh, as opposed to Greg Brannon. You know that that is obviously hypothetical because we don't know who twenty sixteen is two years away, and we do not yet know who is going to be in the primary for that seat. Plus, 
very likely I, I I will be living in Florida then anyway. So my 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 opinion will matter a little bit less than it does now as a resident of Wilmington, North Carolina. So in this segment, I'm going to give you the final, I repeat, the final updated credentials report of all the delegates who attended the 2014 North Carolina Republican Party Convention. Okay, now, there is a right way and a wrong way to do credentials. This, what you're, well, what you're about to hear, I should say, would be the wrong way to do credentials. Columbus 1, Craven 7, Cameron 8, Dare 5, Davidson 2, Davy 3, Duke 1 3, Durham 11. Riker, you're coming in too fast! I know, I know! He knows, he knows! Below 700 now, still going down. 675, 650, 625. He's holding. He's holding. He said, No, no, he's down. He's down. Sound your alarm bell now. All right, now everybody, get the class. <laughs> so, as you can see, she was reading them way too fast. Okay, and when I was actually taking down the um, the, the the credential report from the um, the YouTube video, which by the way, hat tip. Bobby Coggins at Macon Media uh, for the, the uh, YouTube video of the uh, Saturday's portion of the convention. Anyway, the credentials lady w was going way, way too fast. And by the way, that other little soundbite was from the movie Airplane, which if you haven't seen the movie Airplane, please, I beg you, go see it. It is such a funny movie okay it's the kind of movie if you if you had a really crummy day at work um you will laugh a ton i promise okay ironclad promise okay <clears throat> so i'm going to show you the right way to read the credentials report okay read it slowly here we go Alamance County, five delegates. Okay, okay. <clears throat> no, not that slow. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <laughs> Alamance County, five delegates. That is Alamance County with five delegates. Alexander County has three delegates. That is Alexander County with three delegates. Allegheny County has two delegates. Anson County, are you ready for this number? It's pretty big. Eleven delegates, one alternate. Good job, Anson County. Eleven delegates, one alternate. Ash County has zero delegates. I repeat, Ash County has zero delegates. Avery County has four delegates. Once again, Avery County has four delegates. Beaufort County has five delegates. Once again, that is Beaufort County has five delegates. Bertie County has one delegate present. And no, it's it, it's not one of their peanut farmers, okay? Once again, Bertie County, one delegate. Bladen County has one delegate. Once again, Bladen County, one delegate. Brunswick County with 20 delegates. That is Brunswick County with 20 delegates. 
Buncombe County has 13 delegates. Once again, let the record show that Buncombe County has 13 delegates present. Burke County has three delegates. Burke County has three delegates. Cabarrus County has 19 delegates. Once again, that's 1-9 for Cabarrus. Caldwell County has four delegates. Caldwell County, four delegates. Camden County has zero delegates. Camden, Camden County has no delegates. Boo. Carteret County has 10 delegates. Carteret County, 10 delegates. Caswell County with two delegates. Two delegates are here today from Caswell County. Catawba County, nine delegates. That is Catawba County, nine delegates. Chatham County with 11 delegates. Once again, write 11 delegates down for Chatham County. Cherokee County has 12 delegates. That is 12 delegates, Cherokee County. Shawan County, zero delegates. Clay County also has zero delegates. Make sure you put a zero next to Shawan and Clay County. Cleveland County has eight delegates. Put a number eight next to Cleveland County. Columbus County has one delegate. Say hello to Peter Yergel from Columbus County. He is the one delegate. Craven County has seven delegates. Once again, Craven County has seven. Cumberland County has eight delegates. Cumberland County, eight delegates. Currituck County. I guess everybody's uh, up at the beaches of the Wild Horses in Corral because we have nobody here from Currituck County. Dare County has five delegates. Dare County brought five delegates here all the way from that part of the state. Good job. Davidson County has two delegates. Davidson County has two delegates. Davie County has three delegates. Put a three next to Davie County. Dublin County also has three delegates. Dublin County with three. Durham County has 11 delegates. Durham County, 11. Edgecombe County, three delegates. Three delegates, Edgecombe. Forsyth County has nine delegates. That is, nine delegates are present for Forsyth County. Franklin County has four delegates. Four delegates, Franklin County. Gaston County has 12 delegates. 12 delegates are here from Gaston County. Gates County, home of legendary patriot Thomas Hill, has five delegates from Gates County. Graham County, one lonely delegate. Good job. Well, good job. Thanks to the guy from Graham County for attending. Granville County has three delegates. Three delegates are present from Granville County. Green County has no delegates present today. Guilford County has 20 delegates. 20 delegates are here from Guilford County. Halifax County has 10 delegates. 10 delegates for Halifax County. Harnett County has 13 delegates. Once again, let the record show that Harnett County has 13 delegates. Haywood County has 10 
delegates. Haywood County has 10 delegates. Henderson County has 11 delegates. 11 delegates are here from Henderson County. Okay, Hertford, Hoke, and Hyde counties all have no delegates. Once again, those counties with no delegates are Hertford, Hoke, and Hyde. Iredell County has 12 delegates. Iredell County has 12 delegates. Jackson County has 22 delegates. Once again, Jackson County has 22 delegates. Johnston County has 6 delegates. Once again, that is Johnston County, home of Congressman David Rouser, has 6 delegates. Jones County has 2 delegates. Jones County with 2 delegates. Lee County has 9 delegates. Nine delegates are here today from Lee County. Lenore County has five delegates. And I know at least two of them. Lenore County has five delegates. Lincoln County has four delegates. That is, four delegates are here today from Lincoln County. Macon County has 21 delegates. 21 delegates for Macon County. Madison County has six delegates. Madison County, six delegates. Martin County, zero delegates. Martin County, zero delegates. McDowell County, nine delegates. Once again, McDowell County, nine delegates. Mecklenburg County, 30 delegates. Once again, that is three zero for Mecklenburg. Mitchell County has 15 delegates. Mitchell, one five. Montgomery County, three delegates. Three delegates are here today from Montgomery County. Moore County has 16 delegates. Write one six next to Moore County. Nash County has five delegates. Once again, Nash County has five delegates. New Hanover County has five delegates. And I hope you're enjoying the beach today, Sam. New Hanover County has five delegates. Northampton County has good, a good number for Northampton County. They have seven delegates present here today. Once again, write a 7 next to Northampton. Onslow County has 5 delegates. Onslow County, home of Camp Lejeune, has 5 delegates. Orange County has 10 delegates. 1-0 for Orange County. And is Mar Martha Jenkins here today? Okay, well, Martha, Martha Jenkins, she, uh, uh, she drove a minivan here today, and she put uh, nine of her closest friends with her. <laughs> Orange County is uh, a very liberal county. <clears throat> Pamlico County has zero delegates. Tell the Republicans in Pamlico County to get off the boat and get to the convention. They have zero delegates here today. Pasquotank County also has zero delegates. Tell the people in Pasquotank County to get their butts over here right now. Okay, well I guess the convention will probably be over by then, but... <laughs> <clears throat> zero for Pasquotank. Pender County has ten delegates. Once again, that's Pender County has ten delegates. New Hanover County should be ashamed of itself for only having five delegates. Hmm. Perquimans County. <laughs> what am I going to do with you, Perquimans County? Uh, once again, this year you have zero delegates. Make sure you write a big goose egg next to Perquimans County. Person County has Los Dos. They have two delegates. Person County, two. Pitt County has five 
and delegates. Okay, need to get the need to get the young Republicans at East Carolina involved more over there because they only have Pitt County five delegates. Hmm, really, <clears throat> Polk County one delegate. And I want to say thank you, sir, for coming. Polk County one delegate. Randolph County has six delegates. Write the number six next to Randolph County. Richmond County has seven delegates. Write the number seven next to Richmond County. Robeson County has seven can uh, seven delegates present. And I dare not say Robeson because those seven will come up here and um, <laughs> choke me with their robes. Okay. <laughs> Write a seven next to Robeson. Rockingham County has eight delegates. Rockingham County, eight delegates. Rowan County has two delegates. Make sure you write the number two next to Rowan County, or Ida Fisher will come after you. <clears throat> Rutherford County has three delegates. The number three should be next to Rutherford County. Samson County has two delegates. And I think I know both both of those people. Sampson County has two delegates. Scotland County, getting better, getting better down there in Scotland County. Three delegates. Write a three next to Scotland County. Stanley County, seven delegates. Good job. Stanley County, seven. Stokes County, four. The number four should be next to Stokes County. Surrey County, 14 delegates. And no, please don't call it sorry, okay? It's Surrey, 1-4. Swain County has 11 delegates, one alternate. Transylvania County has 18 delegates. The number one Eight must, I repeat, must be next to Transylvania County because the vampires will come and suck your blood there in Transylvania. Tyrell County. You ready for this? <laughs> zero delegates. Oy, 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 oy. Make sure you put a zero by Tyrell County. Don't dare try to cheat, okay? Union County, 16 delegates. Write the number 16 next to Union County. Vance County, one delegate. That is correct. One delegate is attending today from Vance County. Wake County has, ready for this, 33 delegates. Three, three, Wake County. Warren County has two delegates. Warren County, two. Washington County has one delegate. And his name is George Washington. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> but anyway, one delegate is present from Washington County. Thank you for coming all that way. I appreciate it. Watauga County has three delegates. Watauga County has three delegates. Wayne County has 12 delegates. One, two Wayne County. Wilkes County has three delegates. Write the number three next to Wait Wils Wilkes County. Wilson County. Wilson County, home of Bill Ellis Barbecue. Some of the best barbecue you'll ever eat. And it's all you can eat buffet, which I really like too. Wilson County has three delegates. Put the number three next to Wilson County, and I'll talk to my good friend Bill, and he'll see if he can give give you a little discount next time you go to Bill Ellis Barbecue. Okay? 
Yadkin County has one delegate. Yadkin County, one delegate. Yancey County has seven delegates. Once again, the final county on our report is Yad Yancey County. Excuse me. They have seven delegates. The total number of delegates attending the convention was 689 with two alternates. The grand total was 691 delegates and uh, in order to maintain quorum there needed to be 300 and at least 345 delegates present on the convention floor. And that wraps up the credentials report.